Hello everyone, here is another episode of the Royal Family of Windenburg. In this episode, I'm going to take you to visit the Palace of Willow Creek and Oasis Springs to start, okay, let's see, we have Lonely Recess. Last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? What should we tell them to do? Ask other kids if you can join in, talk to the teacher. I would say, ooh, fix manners. Mm, I'm just going to say ask other kids if you can join in. Conflict resolution increases, emotional control decreases. Why would that in decrease your emotional control? Okay, anyway. Um, but we're going to go ahead and have the entire family travel to... First, we're going to go to Willow Creek. In the last episode, we had Prince Henry and Princess Alice introduced themselves, so they got to meet, and we're hoping that they will get together when they're older, and hopefully we'll have a strong marriage on their part. So I still don't have anyone set up yet for Princess Cora or Princess Anna, but we will hopefully find someone. Right now the princes of Oasis Springs are their cousins, so that wouldn't really work. But um, we will figure something out. There's plenty of high or high class, upper class families that are part of the royal lineage that are around. So I'm sure we will find someone. So we're going to go ahead and travel to Willow Creek. I, I don't think I've shown you guys the palaces yet. I apologize if I already have, but hopefully we haven't because... I don't remember at all, so I'm hoping my memory is not that bad. But yes, we're going to go into Willow Creek, and we're going to have the entire family come with us so we get to meet everybody in the family. Here we are at the royal family of Willow Creek's palace. So as you can see, we have King Derek out here, but we're going to just go ahead and knock on the door. I love this palace, and it's all decorated for love day, so that's super cute. So we're going to knock on the door here, and just look at this. Isn't this amazing? Look how many chimneys there are. There are five of them, and there's smoke coming out of each and every one of them. You can see the back here, too. They have little gardens. They don't have a pool, so that's kind of the downside of this, but honestly, I kind of like the outside of their palace more than I like the outside of ours. Ours is a little plain. So I'm definitely hoping to upgrade that soon, but I love theirs. It even has, oh yeah, here we go. Here's the inside of it. So it's much more like a, just a more of a mansion feel to me. Like ours feels more like a palace because it's so much more spacious. And plus we have like the throne room and ballroom too. But they have a lot more rooms. And I do definitely want to add more rooms to ours, but it's just so elegant and grand. I mean, look at this. They have this little area with piano. They even have violins here. So it's like a little entertainment room with the game center area. And then we have another living room here and they have the computer. So this one's more like a study, but it's really neat. So here we have Queen Elena and Princess Alice. They are just hanging out. I'm going to have Prince Henry greet Princess Alice again we do want to get them to know each other just a little bit more. So I want to brighten her day. It will be sweet. And then we're going to greet the queen and say hello. So um, ask and feel baby. Oh, yeah, I forgot she's pregnant. She's getting really pregnant. And then, oops, she's just walking. And it's a little hard to <laughs> say hi to her. So, yeah, she's got to be in her third trimester at least. So I'm going to flatter her, and then we're going to have the kings play some chess together. Let's see, play with King Derek. Yeah, because King Derek is actually King, uh, I always forget the king's name, um, King George's cousin. So we're going to have them do that together. Prince Henry is talking to Princess Alice over here. They're so cute. We'll talk about our favorite animal. Look how cute they are. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Talk about toys. We can also get to know just a little bit better. Tease about bravery. I don't know if we want to do that. Talk about warm temperature. We can do that. Prince Henry is, he's definitely, yeah, he's got high manners, high responsibility, and high conflict resolution. He has 
very little emotional control, apparently. But this is actually pretty good for a child. I don't think I've ever really gotten it this high before. So that's, I mean, like in the child stage. So that's good. Um, and then he is also a perfectionist. And he's, re oh, right. He's in the childhood phase of rebellion right now. Looks like Princess Alice is cheerful. That's good to know about her. Tell her a goofy story. And let's see. Um, let's make fun of adults. And then I'm going to bring Princess Cora into the conversation here too. Talk about toys. And let's see, heartfelt compliments. Ooh, and I think Princess Cora also needs to meet the king and queen. So we're gonna have her introduce herself politely. And I don't know where Queen Elena went. Oh, there she is. She's in the gym. Look at their little gym here. So I will have her introduce herself to Queen Elena as well. And then, so I'm just going to give you a quick tour of this and then we'll go see the other palace. So they have this little bar area here. It's such a pretty palace. They don't have a basement or anything. This is their dining room their bathroom and then I showed you this area this is their nice kitchen I do really like this palace it's gorgeous and then I'm not a huge fan of the floors though I don't like the checker tile and then they're sitting in this wow look at that tv <laughs> that is a nice tv so this is what they're hanging out right now this is just like a little parlor area so that's cute and then we have the chess table for the kings right here to hang out and then upstairs we have we have this little restroom here too. That's cool. It's in this little, what are they called? The pillar column looking things like the towers and the castles. So that's interesting. We have a bedroom right here. It's got the same style as our palace. We have another bedroom. We have the nursery. That's a huge nursery. That's really cool. I feel like every time I see a little dollhouse thing they're always knocked down I feel like that's like the go-to when someone is angry they go knock down someone's dollhouse which is just not fair for the kids um they have this closet with the shoes I feel like they should put a walk-in closet here because otherwise I don't really see the point but whatever it looks nice I like the little sitting areas they have for the bedrooms as well but this is super elegant this is an interesting color scheme right here I don't know it's like yellow and red but it's too like I feel like gold and red would look a lot better oh this is probably the master bedroom so this might be for the king and the queen but yeah look at this I don't know how I feel about that hmm. this is a cute little pink room oh gosh I would love my room to look like this that's so pretty and then we have some balconies too oh not that way I think it's this other way yeah they have to go out this door to go out to the back balcony so that's really cool and then as I show you as I showed you guys before this is the gardens so this is really nice and I love it with all of the love day decorations there's so many decorations I mean look at all of these lights and all of these little banners here too just because I think there's so many what are these called the the grass fence thingamabobbers so those are really cool but yeah, these are really pretty. I don't think our castle is decorated yet for Love Day. Oh, I know this isn't part of Love Day, but the red flowers, they go with the decorations a little bit. Oh, and I didn't even see these before either. They have the banners here too. So this is the Willow Creek Palace. So they've, oh gosh, the queen definitely has to use the restroom. So can we have the toddlers, can they introduce themselves to adults? Talk to stranger. I wonder if that counts. I'm just going to... You can tell a knock-knock joke as a toddler. I guess Princess Anna can speak. Interesting. Well, let's just see. Let's talk about the rain a little bit. Yeah, they'll chat. They're having such a good conversation. Look at this whole family here. That's adorable. Oh, wait, where's the prince? Where's Prince Henry? Where'd he go? He's on the computer by himself. Well, that's not good manners. Oh, well. It's fine. I'm going to have them travel to the palace at Oasis Springs anyway. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So here we are at, it's called the Eastern Palace. And we will knock on the door. So here you can see from the outside. It's very, it's a very open palace. Oh, I don't even know. Where the, oh, there we go. Okay. I was like, I don't know where the door is. 
But yeah, it's very open. Oh gosh. Okay, the best void critter. I got in a fight with someone at school about which void critter is more powerful. I said it was Arcticorn. Arcticorn? But he keeps saying Su and Tor. I don't even know how to pronounce these. Which one is it? Uh, the Arcticorn, of course, or they're both equally powerful. I'll just say the Arcticorn, of course. Yeah. Okay. So they're going to knock on the door, and yeah, you guys can see the palace from the outside. It's beautiful. It, you can see sort of like the middle of the palace. They have this gorgeous pool in here. I definitely want to upgrade our palace because the palaces in the other worlds are just so cool, and it's making me almost just want to actively play the families in those palaces. But I'm trying to stick to the Windenburg family as much as possible. So I want to upgrade our Windenburg Palace. I just need to, I mean, we have all of those portraits and the throne room and all of that. So I just would need to figure out how to move those. But anyway, so this is the palace. We see we have one of the princes is swimming in the pool here. Let's see. Prince Jared is swimming in the pool. So I'm going to brighten his day. I'm also going to have the princess introduce herself. I think they already know each other because they're related. And they're also in the same uh, kids club too. But yeah, this is the palace. It's gorgeous and it's just, I, oh my God, I'm obsessed with this palace. I can't get over it. This is a little foyer area. Oh, it looks like the queen is here. Yep, queen Arya is here. So we're going to say hello, share a secret. Is this Queen Isabel's sister? Let me double check. This is, nope. Not her sister. But they're related to them somehow. They must be related to the prince. Let me see. Oh, wait. Is that... Ah! That's it. So Queen Arya is King George's sister. Which is interesting, because they don't look anything alike. But anyway, yeah, that's their sister. Yeah, she, Queen Arya looks way more like Queen Isabel than she looks like King George. So that's funny. But they're also really good friends. They grew up all together. Have her lead the cause. King George is just hanging outside of the house by himself. Why won't you go inside? What are you doing? Go talk to your sister. Um, yeah, you need to go talk to your sister and say hello. Because I don't know why you're just, well, offer gratitude. I don't know why he's just creepily, creepishly, creepishly hanging outside of the palace. So Princess Cora is just hanging out with her cousin, Prince Jared. Just look at this view. Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I am obsessed with this palace. Okay, so let's give you guys a quick tour. So as I mentioned, this is the foyer. This is their kitchen here. It's a little dark. Definitely need to add some lights in this room. There's just this huge empty space over here. What is this used for? That could definitely be a dining room. Do they not have a dining room? <gasps> they don't. No, wait. Yeah, they don't. So this little area, okay, we definitely, I need to fix this. Yeah, this whole area could be used as a dining room because this is the kitchen here. Interesting. They have a library too. That is awesome. So that's their library. They've got a bunch of guest bedrooms. This is the pool, my favorite favorite part. I love that it's basically outside too because this entire place is like a huge circle with the pool in the middle. There's another guest bedroom. I love this bed with it. It's such a good idea. I think there was a bunch of CC in this house before. You can see like all of these carpets are just kind of on each other so I don't know how I feel about that. That's interesting. As much as I love this palace, if I lived in it, if, our, if we played the Sims in it, I, I just, I don't know. It doesn't feel like home to me for some reason. This is the prince's bedrooms. We got our bassinets are just kind of all in disarray here. I don't know how they would get to the bed. I need to clear that. Yeah, I definitely need to fix this a little bit. This is the bathroom. Then over here we have our little hangout foyer area. Um, they have a small TV. Interesting. But is this the king? Oh, that's King Easton. Yeah. Oh. Has Queen Isabel not met King Easton yet? That's interesting. They're all in the same club together. All right. Well, I will have Queen Isabel introduce herself. And I know King George has already spoken and met King Easton. Oh, wait. No, he hasn't? What? Weird. That's his sister's husband. That's so weird. Okay. 
We'll do a polite introduction. When they do the polite introduction, their friendship points, their friendship level automatically just gets really high. So we'll have them do that. Oh my god, I can't believe I haven't had them meet King Easton yet. Because they're all in the same politicians group too. I'm pretty sure he was in the last episode. So that's really, really weird. Anyway, so that means I guess the kids haven't met him either. So we'll have them introduce themselves I like that when the kids introduce themselves to an adult, it automatically increases their politeness or their manners. Yeah. So I'll have Princess Cora introduce herself, and then I'll have Princess Anna just talk to the stranger. I don't know if that means, like, if they talk to the stranger when they're toddlers and they grow up, does that mean that they already know the adult when they grow up? I don't know. That's weird. Hmm. So it looks like Prince Henry's manners have increased a little bit. This whole area is really dark. They really need to do something with this area right here. Anyway, let's travel upstairs. It doesn't look like they have a basement either. Ooh, yeah. It looks like some of this is just a little bit unfinished, so I apologize for that. But I just wanted to show you how cool this place is. So this is one of the other bedrooms. They have so many rooms in this house. Oh my gosh, they have to have like eight or something like that. Here's a bathroom. They have two bathtubs. Weird. I don't know who would want to take a bath while someone else is taking a bath in the other bath. Um, there's another bedroom. This one's a little more color to it, so I like this one. Then we have another bedroom right here. Okay, and then we have... Wow. Is there a gate? Oh, no. Is that a wall? Let me see. Oh, okay. So they have... Oh, yeah, this whole thing is unfinished. But they have... Wow, this is so cool! Just looking at it as a whole. And look at all the plants growing on it, too. Oh, God, I'm in love with this palace. It's so pretty. Okay, so... Basically, they have the hall where they can see down into the pool. Oh, my gosh, there's three floors to this palace? I didn't even know that. Okay, they have the balcony they can walk to out here. Actually, they might not even be able to walk out here. I don't think there's a door. Um, we have a, another bedroom right here. And then this looks like it's the king and queen's... Oh, wait, maybe not. I don't know which one is the king and queen's room. But, wow, they have so many bedrooms. <laughs> I feel like you could definitely change the bedrooms a little bit. But here's more guest bedrooms. Yeah, they have to have so many bedrooms. And then, doesn't look like anything is up here on the third floor. But they do have stairs leading up here. I feel like this palace might be a little unfinished. I could definitely have a lot of fun upgrading this palace and adding more to it. So this is the gorgeous palace of Oasis Springs. This one definitely is my favorite, I have to say. I definitely need to upgrade our palace to really, uh, we're going to be in a little bit of competition with the royal families of Oasis Springs and Willow Creek. For now, they're definitely beating us in the aspect of how nice their palaces are. So I want to upgrade the palaces or the palace of Willow Creek. Or not Willow Creek, sorry, of Windenburg. But anyway, that is it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a really nice tour of the other kingdoms. And you guys got to meet the families a little bit more as well. And we got to meet the king of Oasis Springs because for some reason we haven't done that yet. But I like that you guys are getting a bit more of a feel of who's related to who. I know it's really confusing and I apologize. I've just been playing with this family for so long and we're like what four or five generations in already so I'm excited for you guys to kind of see who else is related and all of the other things we get to do with that and we get to see Prince Henry grow up and to be a king and I think he's going to be just the greatest king he's such a great kid and I'm in love with Princess Alice of Willow Creek already and she'll get to be our next queen hopefully so thank you all for watching this episode please like and subscribe and we will We'll see you all the next episode.